My name is Wyatt Sheets, and I'm a senior at Stillwell High School. Wyatt Sheets is a three-time state champion in wrestling at Stillwell High School and is trying for a fourth title this year. He's as tough as they come. I've, uh, I've been coaching for about 17 years now, and uh, I've said it before in print and everything that Wyatt will be the, probably, it will be the best kid that I've coached probably going forward too. He's one that I, I never have to, to worry about or, or anything like that. He's, he's constantly doing the right thing. And if wrestling doesn't keep him busy enough, Wyatt also belongs to many other clubs, including skeet and trap shooting, golf and archery. power lifts and also played on the high school football team. Wyatt Sheets is very genuine. He's a brilliantly quiet young man. He leads by example. He's a great leader. Wyatt always has a smile for everybody he meets. Um, he's very eager to volunteer if, he, if you ask him. He's uh, uh, very helpful. He's just a very genuine young man and has an awesome work ethic in everything he does. Wyatt does admit that in the beginning, keeping up with his classes and wrestling was hard. Freshman year was pretty hard because I wasn't used to it all. But as time went on, I got used to it and it just became a habit. And this year is pretty laid back. I only have a few classes, but it's, it's not too bad. Mejia, Kara, Alves. When Wyatt isn't busy with his schoolwork or practicing his sports, he spends time with his brother Cutter, shooting archery or playing video games. He's like a it definitely takes away, I don't know. It just takes your mind off of it. Just lets you do whatever you want. Just to mess around. But it's always a competition in my house. Wyatt credits his family for keeping him in touch with his heritage. I always kind of noon because my mom was a member of the Youth Tribal Council and made trips across the United States and went to Russia representing her tribe. And my brother, he also went on the Trail of Tears ride, the bike ride. I well, was kind of known I was Cherokee. My grandpa, Joe Four Killer, <laughs> he's full blood. And he always talks about like how he would skin a hog or skin a deer, teaching us how when we were little. It's just cool knowing like what he's done and knowing some of the stories in his life. Oh, the other day, we cut her. He wanted to kill some squirrels. and <laughs> My dad said, if, we, if you kill three, we can have them for dinner. And he went out and killed three, sure enough. So we took him to my grandpa and skinned him up with him. Wyatt likes the solitude of hunting duck, deer, even raccoons. He's planning a fishing derby for little kids next spring and has participated during the football season with the seniors as they read stories to the elementary students. Probably more financial support with school, like school, like college and stuff. I like to see like all the kids that are Indian that come out of high school go on to get a degree in a higher education. It's the Cherokee National Holiday. I used to always go to that when I was little and participate in the archery shoot and I always did fairly well. Um, uh, it's just good to be around it and know where you come from. Full responsibilities of being a Cherokee citizen is gonna come when it's my turn to vote. I haven't got to vote yet and I haven't, I don't know, I just have a long ways to go before I can give back to my tribe. Like most young people, Wyatt has his share of family chores, including care of the family livestock. <laughs> <laughs> he has signed a letter of intent to attend Oklahoma State University in the fall. It's a sport that takes a lot of sacrifice, uh, a lot of hard work, uh, dedication, self-motivation, self-will, and it's, uh, and I think that's what why it is. Wyatt's father, Mike Sheets, a national wrestling champion in his own right, practices with his son and tries to help him to do his very best. Thank you, John. Get a hip, hip lock or try to slide off of you. He's got the kind of work ethic and the kind of attitude um, that he can handle it. He's going to be very successful. 
Wyatt wants to study in the agricultural business field at Oklahoma State University. It's a sign. I get to carry on the legacy, just start one, carry it on. Hopefully that can be just as good or better. I'm ready for the future. Only good things to come.